Prom Dress is a poem from my book Given, which I published in high school. And it was part of the section about love and not missing your chance on love. And funny story, my dad never drinks and he rarely went out and rarely partied. But one night he went out for a date uh, and he went to this bar and um, he ended up getting connected with or um, he somehow met my, my mother um, who was at the bar with another friend and the friend kind of passed her off to my dad and the rest is history and he, funny enough, he didn't, he ended up standing up the other woman, which is obviously unfortunate, uh, but he did find the love of his life and my mother, Vivian. So this poem is called Prom Dress and it's about um, not passing up on your chance to find love. And it's a little, has a much sadder ending. Warning. Prom Dress. Sixth grade. She was the prettiest girl I'd ever seen. Her hair was blonde and eyes were green. She turned around to flash a smile. I remember staring for quite a while. She whispered the sweetest name. It was hers. I did the same. Seventh grade. The last year had rolled by so fast. Finally, middle school had come at last. And in my class was that beautiful face. I saw her and my heart began to race. She looked at me and whispered, hi. My mouth and throat became instantly dry. Eighth grade. After two years, we were pretty good friends. We had the same hobbies and shared the same trends, but she was so popular and I wasn't as cool. So we mostly hung out outside of school. And one day she told me, you're my best friend forever. And I'll never forget what she said, not ever. Ninth grade. High school came shortly Time passed by so. She was still gorgeous like long ago. This was the year I promised to say how much I had loved her since that first day. But she was with friends, so I whispered in her ear, see you tomorrow. But I waited a year. 10th grade. This year, I planned to ask her out. We were best friends without a doubt. I dressed up nicely and fixed up my hair. But when I saw her, I lost all my air. And instead I just said, in my usual way, Hey, what's up? What are you doing today? 11th grade. I made myself promise that this would be the year to take her to the prom and make my love clear. But I was too late. She already said yes, to go with a senior who loved her much less. And the dress I had bought her, I decided to save for next year's prom. Her name was engraved. 12th grade. The years passed by faster than I could believe. I thought myself Adam and she as Eve. We were still best friends after all those years, after all the smiles and laughter and tears. And I never did ask her to the prom as a teen, for I was a nobody and she was the queen. College. We went separate ways in college at last, but we remained as close as years in the past. And I wanted to call her. I wanted to say, I want to marry you someday. But I never had courage. I never did share 
how much I loved her and how much I cared. Some years after, late one night, I received a call. It was then that I lost all. I drove for eight hours until I reached her place. On the floor was her beautiful face. In her grasp was a handwritten note. It took an eternity to read what she wrote. She said that she loved me and had since that day. When she smiled at me and I had said, hey. And I read it again and cried to myself. A pottle of pills was empty on her shelf. She wrote in her letter that she wanted to explain her love for me, that I was the medicine for her pain. And she said she was ashamed because she never told, but I was the coward. My heart turned cold. So I went to my car and I grabbed the old dress. I placed it in her house. It was then I expressed. I fell to my knees and cried. Tears fell from above. I whispered in her ear the extent of my love. And I asked her, will you go to prom with me? I bought you a dress. But I was too late. She never said yes.